absolutely blissful morning here in Vilnius. And it's getting there, it's getting to the lovely temperatures. The lovely frosty temperatures. <laughs> Love it. Um, it is nine o'clock or something. I'm on my way to the airport on a little detour because I wanted to get one last good coffee in at the, the roaster place that I show you a lot because it's a good place. So heading there now and then I will uh, enjoy a little bit more of the frosty temperatures out here in Lithuania before I head to my mystery location that is, um, let's say, not quite as frosty. Also, how could I not give this another look? Like, this is absolutely spectacular. It's so nice. So good. Such a good time. Like I said it yesterday in Takai, I say it today again. Like, it's mm, such a wonderful time. And it's not really on most people's radar to come out here because I don't know I don't really know <laughs> but it's uh, I would say it's an ideal hub city to I don't know go elsewhere like come here and join the old town all the things that come with it and then you can head out to Helsinki you can head out to Riga uh, Kaliningrad St. Petersburg like all of those places are like two to three hours away like on a plane they're like maybe two hours away not even i think riga was like a half hour flight you can take a train i think one of my friends told me that next year uh, another train line is finished and then you can take a train up to riga and up to st petersburg i think and yeah, it's a really, really cool city because it's like right in the middle of everything. Oh, you can go down to Warsaw. That's what she said. Yeah, you can go down to Warsaw by train. And I can only imagine, I mean, I showed you this yesterday. I can only imagine like all this beautiful nature and monuments and ruins and castles and everything. Like experiencing that on a couple of hours train journey through Eastern Europe. Oof. Guess I have to come back. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm off to have coffee, and then I'm off to the airport. I guess I'll see you there. And then I'll see you somewhere else. Okay, bye. It seems to me like I'm exceptionally lucky with the weather. It was raining all morning on the way here to the mystery location, which you might be able to discern by that uh, or by the thing that lies ahead. Because yes, I made it to Paris, where I'm solely for a day and a half uh, to see the Christo exhibit. Of course, it's the wrapped Art de Triomphe that I'm walking towards right now because, well, it's unexpectedly sunny. I'm gonna film the thing, walk around the entire thing and hopefully find some food right after and uh, maybe even go to the Eiffel Tower. I don't know. It's still relatively early. Well, it's like four, so I have enough time. All right, onwards. By the way, one of the things that I really love about Paris are these uh, one of my fingers in the display? Ah, oh, like an amateur. Okay, so one of one of the things I really love about Paris are these huge avenues, which I haven't really seen in any other bigger Euro European uh, city. And uh, I remember the last time I was here. Yeah, the last time I was here, I was driving to my friend in Cologne, had breakfast there, then drove over to Belgium, and then came to Paris all like in a day because I wanted to see I wanted to see if it could be done and I came from the other side of this giant roundabout 
uh, that we're about to see. And <laughs> what nobody tells you, well, unless you actually read up on Paris, but it was a spontaneous trip that I didn't do any of that. And there was no smartphone, so I was just like on my way there. That there is a six lane runabout that doesn't have any indications of the lanes. Like, look at this. There's no, there, there's, there are two lanes, or three, depending on who's driving, I guess. So yeah, you drive up to this and you're like just mesmerized by the then unwrapped uh, Arc de Triomphe. And then you are hit by a six lane runabout and you just gotta be, you, you just gotta put the foot down. You just gotta be brave. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really something. And there's like more than one of these in Paris. Uh, yeah, it's definitely an experience that uh, I don't wish on anybody, but I think anybody should, should have done it at least once. All right, that was easy enough. <clears throat> Got some lunch, or very late lunch, back at uh, this avenue. Uh, and I'm on my way down that road to, I don't know, do something spontaneous and treat myself. Because I uh, came to Paris, again, with the only intention to see the Arc de Triomphe. And I, I did that. So, uh, tomorrow's goal already achieved today. So now I have a new goal, which is I'm gonna sit down with a gorgeous view, have this cappuccino in the morning, and uh, eat something yummy. What that is, I will show you in a second. What beautiful buildings. Now this is not the first time I'm in Paris, but every time <clears throat> I'm in a different uh, in a different neighborhood and this one is just cute like all of this is just like all of these beautiful old apartment buildings rarely something new like this one and it's just cute lots of tiny shops right by the Art of Triomphe you know or there's the avenue and it's just uh, very cute and again with the roundabouts, like I have no idea, I guess it's just like sheer luck and bravery. Like over there, is, there's not even a parking, the people is park. This is just, I guess, yeah, it's this how it is. Amazing. It's kind of like ballet, but <laughs> with cars and things can go boom really easily. <laughs> go. Can't go to Paris without seeing the old the old lady of Paris. I have no idea why every single metropolis I go to, every single city I go to right now has to have massive construction projects going on so you can't really see most of the sites. Yeah, this is not completely obstructed. It's really nice here. It's really, really nice. You see, my cunning plan was to drink this cappuccino and have ooh, and have this delicious canal while sitting in a park looking at Le Grand Dame of Paris, the Eiffel Tower. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I am about to head in because both my phone and the camera are dying but tomorrow's plan is to go down like this path by the river sand hopefully get a scooter or something so I can do that quick and make it as far as possible down up that way the river sand and then hit the Louvre I will not go in because there's always a line and I don't have time for that I only have one more day in Paris and then make it all the way to Notre Dame and maybe even the Bastille 
all the way out there and record that ride with, uh, you know, no shaking of the camera because I'm very impressed by the quality of the uh, stabilization. Yeah, so that's gonna be tomorrow's plan. Out early, get some breakfast, and uh, yeah, see see what the day brings. Tomorrow's supposed to be a very nice day. On that note, good night. All right, one more short walk to the Arc de Triomphe because the sun is setting and it's going like straight down this beautiful street. And I think the light's gonna be very nice.